DVDs probably like back then when even I, I don't know y'all show you on Smack show DVD probably but you came and had the worst battle of Summer Madness too. You and Reed got the worst main event probably of all time. You got the worst two on two. Tell the world how ARP lost money booking you last. Like the the streams is an all time low. Dudes moving slow for you to be murder moot. Room half empty. Like you did an ABC scheme, bro. Get out right, right here, man. Shit, I'm saying. Got to enable. 2024. Like I'm the alphabet. I'm always first one. Niggas say, hey, it's always to be second to be next to me. Let it be or be next to C to D E. I'm an F and G. You already know what it is, man. Salute to every single one of y'all. Shout out to my subscribers. Shout out to Showtime SP. All the network partners and everything out there. Gang, gang, gang. I don't bang. On my way to the gym right now. It's a little later in the morning, but I was chilling this morning. You know what I'm saying? It's a holiday. Not really a holiday, but if you consider it a holiday, it's kind of like a holiday. You know what I'm saying? But some businesses be open. Some people be having to work. Some people don't have to work. Whatever the case may be, but it is Martin Luther King. Salute to everybody out there. Uh, it's a lot going on. I'll break down a couple of single subjects before I get to what I'm getting into. Um, I did see all of football yesterday. Salute to the... Uh, Salute to the Dallas Cowboys for being exactly who the fuck we know they are. See, the thing about Dallas, like, and I've been dealing with Dallas and Dallas fans for probably the last 20, 25 years of my life, and it is the same repetitive cycle every year. In the beginning, it's just like that meme, you know what I'm saying? In the beginning, the, the year starts, they beat up on bad teams, it's our year, we them boys, wooty wooty woot, then they go to the playoffs and they get fucking embarrassed. Every year, this shit don't never change, and y'all won't win again next year. You've been doing this the last 25, 26 years. You will not, Dallas will not win the Super Bowl again next year. And I know y'all be quick to say, but what about the Giants? Well, the Giants know they're bad. The Giants had three quarterbacks. The Giants signed Daniel Jones. They know he's ass. So when you go into the season knowing you're not good, it's all good because you know you're just not going to win. When it comes to y'all, y'all be thinking y'all going to win. Y'all go into the, it's, <laughs> y'all go into the season under the premonition that y'all going to win. You fucking, uh, your secondary sucks. Your quarterback stinks. Your quarterback is fucking horrible. Dak Pres check down Prescott is fucking horrible. And y'all not going to win with them. So, uh, you did all that talking. You were 12-5, and five, got a number two seed, and got your ass kicked across the street by the Green Bay Packers. Salute to the Green Bay Packers and everything that they did. We truly appreciate y'all. I kind of wanted y'all to go home versus San Francisco, but I will take, I, you know what I'm saying, I will take it. You know what I'm saying? What they said, he's not always there when you call, but he's right on time. And in this scenario, God was right on time. Y'all get y'all ass out of the playoffs. It was, you know, y'all suck. Yeah, you're not good. Yesterday was who you are. You can win week one versus 40 to nothing versus the Giants. You can win week five. You can win week 10. But when it counts, that's who you are. That is exactly who you are. <laughs> Fucking horrible. <laughs> so every other team is happy today. Trust me, they are. Um... I saw Murder Mook's interview yesterday where he was going in on Briz, but Hitman Holla, skip, Hitman Holla spun the block on him. I'm not going to lie. Hitman Holla's interview was very interesting. It wasn't really an interview. It was kind of like, you know, a blog that he dropped. He dropped a blog. Hitman Holla dropped a fucking blog in 2024. Can you believe this shit? More battlers are blogging than ever. If you look at it, how, look how many battlers are fucking blogging. But you know what? They should have been doing this from day one. The battlers should have been doing this from day one. Y'all always talk about narratives, this person, that person. Y'all don't like the bloggers, and y'all had a wide open lane to do the shit that y'all doing right now. You could talk about, y'all could talk about your own subject. We're going to talk about them anyway. You know what I'm saying? We're going to definitely talk about them anyway. My do rag acting up today. We're going to talk about them anyway and get paid. You know what I'm saying? And continue to push the culture and, and break news and break down battles and shit. Everybody, the bloggers are still going to do what they're going to do. Don't get it fucked up. But... Y'all could definitely uh could 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 keep shit rolling, could talk y'all shit. Hitman Holler was talking heavy in there. He said Mook brought his name up. You know what I'm saying? He's like Mook brought his name up. Mook always bring his name up. And when you watch some of the interviews and the clips that he's putting in there, you see Mook talking about his battles. Mook breaking down who won between this person and who that won between that person. And, you know. Hitman was basically saying that he don't want to do that whole we got to go in a room where nobody ain't in there and the Paul Bear for Paul Bear and Paul... Nobody... I don't like that. I don't like that fucking only two people in the room shit. I don't like it. I'm be honest with you. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not a fan of that. Battle rap is battles in front of people, crowds, sometimes gas, motherfuckers heckling. That's what battle rap is. Battle rap is not cats on Broadway. We put two niggas in a room 
and we have no, how am I getting a react? No, no, no. That ain't fucking battle rap. That ain't, I am sorry. It's not. Battle rap was not started off that premise. You know what I'm saying? Queens Flip had the quiet room shit back in the days, but even still, battle rap is for crowds. So Hitman Holler saying he ain't even feeling all of that. He's saying you dead afraid. He said you are dead afraid to battle him in front of a crowd. That's what he said. That's what he said. And Hitman could battle in smaller rooms. I watched him versus Ill Will. I did. I was right there. I judged the shit. I was right there. He could definitely get busy in small rooms with people there, I'm talking about. You know? Mook, gets, Mook do his thing, too. I'm not doubting Mook or sleeping on Mook or saying that he can't get busy. But at the same time, Hitman Holla was bringing facts. He said he never opened up. I never seen Hitman open an up event before. But I didn't watch the interview with Mook's interview. I didn't watch that because, I mean, like, if I seen one Mook interview, I seen them all. No disrespect, but... It was not, I didn't have to watch it in order to get the premise of what he was going at. He don't like Hitman. Hitman has helped carry a culture for fucking 10 years. Yes, Mook opened the door. He was the first nigga. The strip like throw mile, get laid down like floor tile. You know what I'm saying? And the shit with Party Yardy. He ain't go to Michigan. He went to Switzerland. He never been to me. I remember them joints. But when you conceptualize or when you move to the business aspect and how battle rap has transcended over the years... Hitman Holla has been one of the forefront guys with the big events, with the yes, sir, Gerald, that's how you talk to your son, with the summer madness versus K-Shine where he said, uh, you said not to rap about your baby mother or your daughter, nigga. Well, I'll fuck your baby mama in front of your daughter. Baby, baby. Like, Mook ain't had those. I don't, like, before Twerk, I can't even tell you a battle that he had on URL that was making niggas go, eh, eh, eh air horns and all of that. No, it wasn't happening. It just was not. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, with Hitman talk about two-on-twos, him and Mook done two-on-twos before. Two-on-twos is an easy, cheap, convenient way to get a bunch of people in front of you for less of price. That's just what it is. That is what a two-on-two -two battle is. We could get both of these niggas here, Verb and Hitman versus so-and-so and so-and-so, and the price comes down. They call it the All-Star game. The battles don't even really count. That's why I don't even really be recapping two-on-twos. I might have recapped two-on-twos like years ago and rock before the shot, jump right after the shot, Beasley. But when they be doing all these two-on-two -two cards and all that shit, I don't be recapping that because it don't even count. Nobody really even cares. You know what I'm saying? But as far as Hitman goes, Hitman, I, I respect the fact that he's taking the narrative into his hands, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's going to be the one that's going to present it, that's going to get in front of that camera, and that's going to talk his shit. He was bombing on Reed, too. He was going crazy on Reed. I don't think Reed can fuck with Hitman. He cannot, Reed can't fuck with no Hitman. He might well leave him alone. I know Reed might say he don't like Hitman, or whatever the case may be, but you cannot, you can't fuck with Hitman now. You couldn't fuck with Hitman back in the days. You definitely ain't fucking with Hitman in the future. You can forget about that. Shout out to Reed. I love everything that you're able to do. The Rambo. Yeah, 40 to the neck. I, 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 I got you. But that ain't fucking with Hitman. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. But ultimately, I feel like uh, they should battle. I feel like the battle should have happened already. I do feel like it should be on a big stage. I do feel like, you know what I'm saying, like there should be no no advantage for anyone. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Hitman Holla is a big stage guy, but he can rap in a small room too. We just seen Mook rap on the big stage versus Twerk, so I ain't really trying to hear it. Um, but... Hitman do got a lot of points. His interview is definitely going to shake some shit. He got a lot of points. He was throwing a lot of jabs. He was throwing darts, and them shits was landing. I was like, oh, yeah, I didn't know that. Oh, I, okay, okay, okay. And as far as Mook goes, Mook knows, like, I'll be hearing Mook in some of his interviews, like, you know, stop bringing me up and woody woody woo. Yo, Hitman, Mook, all y'all niggas, y'all got to realize, when y'all at the top, when you at the top, it's just us, nigga. Who are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about y'all. We're talking about you niggas. That is who is going to be the topic of conversation. As long as we are doing this battle rap shit, the top tiers, the big names, is going to be the topic of conversation. We'll talk about a lot of other people. There's a battle right now, Los Prime versus Danny. Go check that out on iBattle. You know what I'm saying? iBattle been doing their motherfucking thing. We'll talk about shit like that, too. Uh, they just had the Chirac versus LA event in Chicago and shit like that. Um, that just went down. And I've seen an interesting, um, you know what I'm saying? I, I've been seeing a lot of interesting battle footage and battle content and shit like that coming out. You know what I'm saying? But uh, drop the battles. Y'all drop the battles or give the uh, or give the, uh, the, the the media that you really want to fuck with that shit the, the access to it. Piper was, saying, Piper was saying that shit earlier on Twitter. Like, yo, y'all niggas be wanting everybody to recap and talk about y'all battles, but y'all think bloggers, bloggers have a lot of shit going on. 
Niggas is not copping every single pay-per-view. It's just not going to happen. Like, no, 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 no. Because the returns on this shit don't be like that anyway. YouTube money be cool, but it's not the greatest thing in the world. So you copping all of these pay-per-views, and you don't even have time to watch them all or recap them all. So it just, like, some shit just fall by the wayside. Um, But it is what it is. Uh, Salute to Hitman Holla. Uh, I appreciate you standing on your 12, talking your shit to Murder Mook and not backing down. Because at the end of the day, we're not going to say it's a lie. But a lie that doesn't go addressed becomes the truth in battle rap stories that don't go addressed, things that don't go addressed become the truth to niggas you know what i'm saying because niggas is just gonna believe whatever they're gonna believe that's just what it is you know what i'm saying it's always been that way so i, I definitely have to uh take that in consideration and take that in in mind but uh dope interview by hitman uh controlling his own narrative talking his shit and making motherfuckers have to understand that you know he's been doing this shit for quite a while and like i say he was one of the the cross bearers that help bring this shit to the commercial level, bring it to the next stage, get on Wild and Out, stay on there consistently, be on main event after main event after main event after main event, win, lose, draw, however you feel about Hitman, he's been there. You know what I mean? He's been one of those people that push the culture forward that's a good ambassador of the culture. Murder Mook does his thing too, but with, with the last part that what Hitman was saying was very true, he hasn't done much for battle rap. He doesn't even take new guys. He's not going to battle a new guy, you know, He's not going to start a league. He's not going to start a podcast. Well, he did start a podcast, but, you know, you're not one of us. He ain't bring nobody up there and shit like that. Uh, well, I don't even know if it was a podcast, but whatever. Whatever, let's just say it like this. Harlem niggas ain't helping nobody but Harlem niggas. Ain't nobody. You ain't never going to see none of them niggas in Harlem helping nobody, putting nobody on. You can't barely even get an interview with them niggas unless you catch them in the street. <laughs> you, can't, you can't barely catch them niggas. Ain't no way. It's just... Being a nigga from the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? I understand how Brooklyn, how Queens, how all the... Harlem is very self-centered. Them niggas is not helping nobody. That's why they don't got no league. That's why they don't they don't barely have podcasts and shit like that. Or they they, they, don't, they barely don't even sell merch and shit like that. Because Harlem is so Harlem-centered. They not, they not giving a fuck. They ain't trying to push no culture forward. They trying to push them pockets forward. I got to get paid. And if I ain't getting paid, I ain't going to be there. Them niggas ain't giving no young niggas no shot. Nigga from New York. It could be a nigga from New York that's a fucking legend. They are not giving Jerry West or none of them niggas no shots to help bridge the gap and all of that. Like, yo, you know what? I'm that nigga. Tell Jerry West, come outside. They not going to do that. Unless the bag is the bag is the bag is the bag. Hitman battle a nigga from jail. And, you know, Verb battle new niggas. St. Louis niggas be battling new niggas. They not doing it. Harlem, mm -mm. nah, not going to happen. Nah, 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 nah not going to happen. So shout out to Hitman Holler. Shout out to Murder Mook. I did see the interview, but Hitman is wilding on you. Wilding on Reed, too. I didn't even think he was going to go in that type of bag. But it is what it is. Gang, 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 it don't bang. Yeah.